Hi guys and welcome to part 6 of the Wally Blender tutorial and in this part we're going to be dealing to uh, continuing with the neck and we're going to create first of all this area of the neck here so that's going to be quite straightforward we'll start off with a basic cube object so make sure we're over here in object mode by the way if you don't have this model already you can follow along with the tutorial from part 1 or if you skip back to part 5 you can actually find um, the link there to download this model as it is at the end of part five, so you can jump right in with part six. Um, so over in our create, we're going to make the cube. I'm going to drag this into position. So I'm going to use my right side view to begin with. I'm going to scale this in the Z axis a little bit more. I'm going to scale it in the Y axis. So it's about the diameter of our neck area there. Scale a little bit more in the Z. Now we'll go to our front view. We're going to scale in the X axis. We want it to be slightly narrower than the hinged area. Okay, now we'll go um, back into our perspective view. I'm going to get hold of the top edge, so we'll go over into edit mode. Edge select, grab that top edge. We're going to move that back slightly, um, maybe a little bit more. Because as you can see in our reference image, it's angled backwards. Once we're happy with that, I'm going to go to my front view. Um, we'll get the knife tool. I'm going to cut, see for constraints, make sure we get a straight edge. Now I've cut that, grab the top edge, I'm going to move that back and move this edge down. Check back with our reference image. Make sure that we're getting our proportions about right. Okay. Now we're happy with that. We want to create the jagged edges at the rear that you can see here. So we're just going to create those by again using some um, knife cuts. So I'll go to the rear view, grab the knife, see for constraints, knife again. Let's see for constraints. I want to select our edges. So we'll start by dragging out basically the edge above that. After we drag it out, we'll position it down. Go back again to our rear view. I'm just going to continue that same process several times up 
the rear of the neck area. Drag it out and down. I want to step this slightly less. And we're going to increase the spacing a little bit. I'm going to move that up. Okay, and then we'll create one more. So go back, knife, see for constraints to make sure we get straight lines. Grab that top edge, bring it out and down. Okay, once we're done with that, we'll bring this back also. I'm going to bring that front edge in a little bit. And there we have the top of our neck part. Go back into object mode. I'm going to scale a little bit on the Y axis. Okay, now I'm happy with this. The next part we're going to want to do is tucked away in between the two eye sockets. So you can see the back of it here. And we're also going to want this box um, on top, which the wires go into. So we're going to start by extruding up this box, and then we're going to do this uh, rounded area which the um, eyes actually hook onto. So the box is going to be quite straightforward. We just go to a top view, go back into edit mode, and we're going to want to cut out, let's just check a reference image, a box there, okay. I'm going to cut it around here. See for constraints. Once we're happy with that, edge select, deselect these pieces. Make a face, select this face, and we're going to extrude it upwards. And now we want to create the rounded box part there. So I'm going to do that by creating a new object. So we'll come back into object mode, create the cube, drag this cube into place, scale it. So you want to scale it on the uh, x axis, make it narrower. We can line it up using our front view. And the side view. It's going to be around that position there. 
scale it on the z-axis again it needs to be shallower grab the reference image okay happy with that now we'll go back over into edit mode I'm going to go into face select select this top face bottom face control B for bevel I'll bevel those faces and increase the number of segments and then we've got this cylinder that comes out the rear there this part is going to be quite well hidden anyway between the two eyes so we don't need to go into a vast amount of detail but um, we're going to mirror this so we'll go back into edit mode I'm going to create a loop cut around the center and we're going to select this side all of these faces here This could have actually been done before uh, we did the bevel. Thinking about it now, would have made the selections a little easier. And then we'll delete these faces. A couple are left over. Okay, now in our modifiers, I'm going to add the mirror modifier. Then we'll work on this side. So now I'm going to go in my view to the left view and we have these little fins that come out which are going to connect up to the uh, to the eyes again they're pretty well hidden in most of the views you can't really see them um, but we'll create them anyway because you can see them from the rear so we get our knife tool again You can use the loop cuts. Place one there and there, and then two more lower down. I'm going to place another one around that area. Then I can grab these two faces. which can be extruded out and you'll see that the mirror modifier applies that on both sides so these will be the fins that will just help attach to the eye sockets at the rear okay and then one final thing then is the little recess halfway and then we're going to add the cylinder on the back the recess that comes halfway again will create a couple of loop cuts I'm going to put them close together select these faces 
I want to extrude them inwards. Just a little bit. And over here then, I'm going to remove this face. I'm going to do this, uh, just the rear face there, and extrude that inwards slightly. And then we'll remove this face and this face that's left behind. And this face. Now we can go into Edge Select and we can recreate the face here there okay so there's a little recess at the back now we'll apply on mirror modifier whoops back into object mode apply the mirror modifier now the final thing we want to add is the cylinder coming out the back of this to create a cylinder so it's scaling down quite a lot go to our front view position the cylinder and our right view We're going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees, scale everything down again, and position it like so. Then back over into edit mode. I want to select this ring of edges, select the edge tools, and uh, uh, sorry, um, select edge loops, control B to bevel again, I want the bevel just a little bit rounded, back into object mode, slide it in. Select the two objects, join, there we go. Now this piece and this piece, this piece needs to be positioned down slightly. And now we'll join these as well. So now the neck area is one piece. And that concludes tutorial number six. In the next tutorial, we're going to be starting to build the um, eye sockets, which are going to be mirrored or duplicated. So there'll be two of them. So we're going to start off just by drawing the basic shape, extruding it backwards. Um, you can have a go at doing that yourself um, if you don't want to wait for the next part of the tutorial. Um, you should be starting to get an idea now as to how these tools in Blender work and this is a really pretty basic model and a lot of these features that we're doing around here are all done in exactly the same way by starting off with a basic object, adding knife cuts and pulling edges or faces, uh, extrusions to create the shapes that we want. So I hope that you find this tutorial useful and um, I'll see you in part 7 where we'll be starting to give Wally his um, his eyes and uh, he'll start to look more like the actual character that we're trying to create here. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.